Hi there, here I am in another bathroom, and the main thing that's wrong with this bathtub is that it's not level. I'll give you an example of how you can quickly tell this is just an ordinary square, and if I put this square up to the wall, you can see that it doesn't meet, it's flat against the tub. When you start coming up the wall, it's the distance of a, it's a distance of a pencil out away from the wall. The higher you go, the further it's out. If you take the level and put the level on it, it's beyond, the bubble is beyond the line. If I want to get it right on the bubble, I've got to put a pencil under it and bring it back a little bit more, right about there. Now that's, that's level. So you can see that it's off by the thickness of a pencil. A lot of guys, when they install a bathtub, they think they need to make it slope down. Maybe that's why they did it this way. But bathtubs are designed. There's a slope on it to make all the water slope down to the drain. So trying to give it some help isn't necessary at all. The best thing to do is to make it square because what's going to happen, not gonna, what is happening with this tub is water that ends up on the ledge ends up accumulating in the corner down here and then running off the side onto the floor. Now let's have a look on this side. I've got a pencil sitting under the level and you can see it's still not level, so it needs to be up even more than where the pencil is. So if you look at the grout and the tiles, you can see the lower ledge of the tiles are properly distanced from the tub, about an eighth to a quarter of an inch. Any water that's on this ledge without this pencil in here, because it's like this, all the water is going to drip off the edge of this tub. So on this tub, we've already installed a splash guard because this was a big problem. So we installed this splash guard to stop it. It was off so far that I had to fill it uh, with a little more adhesive. And you can see some of the damage to the tiles, some of the damage to the tiles they were lifting. We put some more sealant to keep it from going under the floor. So there's not much more than other than installing a... Um, a splash guard to stop this. There's not much more that can be done. This bathroom is for a senior citizen who uses a chair to sit in the tub anyway. So we put a bunch of handrails in so that she can get in and out of the tub with a little more ease. And we put a, one of these uh, extensions for the shower head on. That's about all that can be done for this one. That's about all that needs to be done. So as you can see, that's uh, quite a ways off the bubble. I got another pencil. By putting that pencil under there, you can see this is a low spot. So we've got a low spot coming this way and a low spot going this way. So everything's going to drain off to that side of the bathtub and onto the floor. Cosmetically, it looks like a great installation. But when you get down to the basics, they blew it. They didn't level this tub. So all this water is going to drain off into this corner here. And... Um, and now it's much too late to um, do any corrections with it other than stopping it, getting the water to funnel back using a splash guard.